All right, guys, first thing we need to do is I need to put a wrench on here, pull that up to release the belt. So let's see if I can get that done here. Keep that in place. I have a bungee cord here to hold that up. Okay, see that does have a little bit of plane. Can you hear it? That's got some play in it. That's not supposed to have that. Hear that? Clicking. I think that might be it. I'm going to go ahead and replace this. Hang tight. All right, guys, well, there's three bolts to get this off. There's one here, and then there's two underneath. So I'm going to start with the ones underneath. See if I can get those first. I should probably take my watch off. All right, that one's loose. That one's loose. I'm going to take my watch off. Alright, now the top one. There we go. Alright. So these three bolts will come out. Hopefully. Eventually. one and then this should just come right off and I should have wore gloves there we go there is a little bit of play which just that little bit I mean you, I don't know how well you can see it but see how it's playing just that little bit just that little bit is enough to make a noise now the new one absolutely zero nice and tight runs nice and smooth this one's got a little bit of roughness to it and when you put that under tension hopefully that might be it hopefully so let me get you set back up again pop that new one in we'll see what happens all right guys here we go we got the new one coming in here i'm gonna run that screw through here to get it in the proper position get that one started like so get the bottom couple started there we go Tighten these back up. Not a whole lot of room to get these tight, but I'll do the best I can here. That one's tight. And I'm sure there's probably a torque setting for these, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to get them tight for now. They should be fine.
There we go, nice and tight. Let me swing you around, we'll put the belt back on and see what happens. All right guys, now we're just gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna release the belt here. I need to get the wrench on the inside. Hopefully, yeah, that'll work. All right, now we just pop this in. You can pop this over the pulley. Like so, let the tension go back. Now, I just gotta make sure that it's running. See, now it kind of came off the water pump down there, so I'm gonna loosen it up just a little bit. Try to get my hand in there. Push it back over, there we go. Got that back on. It's around the alternator, around the water pump, around the crankshaft pulley, and around the new belt tensioner. All right, I'm gonna go fire this up, and we're gonna see if it still makes that noise. All right, guys, the moment of truth. Hopefully nothing's gonna blow up on me. Now, it normally made the noise when I first started the car on a cold start, you could hear it. Then after it warmed up a little bit, it went away. So, hopefully it's one of the pulleys, like I said, and nothing internally. I don't think it is, but let's see, here we go. Okay, I do not hear nothing. I do not hear nothing. <laughs> Copyright. I did not hear nothing at all. I don't know if I'm actually hearing that sound. I know I'm not really hearing that sound anymore because it was very obvious and I'm not hearing that right now. So you know what, I'm gonna let this let this run for a few days. I'll see how it goes and I'll... All right guys, well it's been, I've had this idling here for several minutes now and normally no matter what, I heard it once I got above 2200 to 2500 RPMs and I can do that now. There's 22. There's 25, and I'm not hearing anything. I'm not hearing anything at all, because it used to be very prominent at, at, those, at those RPMs. It used to be very prominent. I'm not hearing nothing at all except the normal engine vibration because I got bad engine mounts. But that rumbling noise, that bearing sound is pretty much gone. I think I'm pretty good. Now that repair that I did only took probably not even 15 minutes start to end to be honest with you 15 minutes these places you call them that's a 250 to 400 dollar job for that little 15 minute thing three bolts belt off three bolts in back on 15 minutes they want 250 to 400 dollars for that ridiculous crazy ridiculous